He hadn't seen such deviousness before in eight years in charge of the commercial court, he said. There are many money goals when it comes to the world today, and many people strive to not just be millionaires, but billionaires. And indeed, there are many billionaires in the world today across all walks of life, from tech owners, visionaries, sports team owners, and so on. But while it may seem at times like this money won't run out, it does, and it does very easily if you make some big mistakes. Allow us to show you 10 billionaires who are now broke. Number 10. Patricia Klug The Klugi Estate Winery, an incredible scenic property and one of the most prestigious vineyards along the East Coast. Let's start off with a person who was very rich via a roundabout way and went broke in various other ways. Patricia Klug was married to once the richest man in the world, John Klug, who had a personal wealth of $5 billion in 1990 which at the time was huge by any metric. While today it's a bit low-key given the wealth of people like Jeff Bezos and Elon Musk. Anyway, at the time of their divorce, Patricia was left with just $1 million. But she also received the lavish estate of Albemarle in the Virginia countryside. She took her chance and established the Klug Estate Winery and Vineyard. Patricia also entered the real estate business and tried to build more than a dozen luxury houses, which later turned out to be her biggest mistake. The 2008 banking and housing crisis caused Patricia to default on her loans, and she was forced to sell her Albemarle estate along with all of her valuable possessions. We'll give it to her, she tried to make her situation work, but sometimes overreaching like this is the backbone of going bankrupt, which she did. Number 9. Huang Wen Ji New figures increasingly support that message. The Chinese economy is growing again. It's rare that a person loses money because of a country personally tanking their wealth. But that's what happened here. Huang Wenji is the chairman of the China Jicheng Holdings, a Hong Kong-based umbrella-making company, 75% stake of which is owned by him and his wife Chen Jiyu. During a stock market dip, his company's stock fell about 91% in just two days, tanking his $1.9 billion of personal wealth. Other companies lost billions as well, though, to be clear. And that's the danger of stock markets, no matter the company you have or the country you're in. You can be on cloud nine one day and then broke the next. And that's happened to more people than we can name on this list, that's for sure. Number 8. Alberto Villar And that's where he is this morning, in jail, downtown. Some people work hard to get their millions and billions. But for others, they want to get it as quickly as possible so they can spend it. And that means cheating, lying, and hopefully, getting caught and losing everything because of it. Which is why we're here. Alberto Villar is a former US-based investment manager who made billions through his investment company, Amarindo Investment Advisors. At its height, Villar's company had an estimated net worth of $1 billion. But in 2000, a violent stock market sell-off badly affected both his and his company's financial status. Then, in 2005, Villar and Tanaka were arrested on charges of securities fraud, and in three years, both were convicted of money laundering, wire fraud, and stock fraud cases. Currently, he's serving a 10-year prison sentence, which goes to show you that, yeah, you can cheat and get rich, but you'll very likely get caught and put in prison as a result. So please remember that before you try to do it yourself, okay? Number 7. Adolf Merkel the 74-year-old was hit by a train and killed on this lonely stretch of railway track. Adolf Merkel was once one of Germany's richest people with a personal wealth of around $12.8 billion. Merkel was also hit hard by the credit crisis of 2008, in which he lost about $3.6 billion. But if you do the math, he was still very rich. But by the end of 2008, his investment firm VEM faced a serious liquidity crisis and reported $6 billion in losses. Merkel played a huge gamble by making a series of risky investments, all of which backfired. After losing almost everything, Merkel tragically ended his life by throwing himself in front of a train. To him, losing everything was, well, everything, and he couldn't bear to live with the failures he had accrued. Number 6. Vijay Malia It's not, it's not my job to comment. Vijay Malia is an Indian businessman and a former billionaire who is currently a subject of extradition from UK to India to face charges of massive financial fraud. 
Malia, the king of good times, became India's richest liquor king after taking over his father's mid-sized company at the age of 28. He honestly did turn it from a regular business to a rich company, making a personal fortune of $1.5 billion as a result of his dealings. So what went wrong? Well, a lot. His troubles began when the amount of debt started to pile on his King Fisher Airlines. He soon lost his controlling interest in United Spirits and was forced to step down as chairman. With millions of dollars in debt, Malia fled India to seek refuge in the United Kingdom. And that right there is the cornerstone of certain rich people. When you can't pay your debts, flee. Number 5. Sean Quinn the judge said the Quinns had created and operated a scheme of mesmeric complexity. Sean Quinn was once the richest person in Ireland with a net value of about $6 billion in 2005. With the help of his holding company Quinn Group, he purchased stakes in various multinational companies, including Bupa Ireland and Anglo-Irish Bank. Soon after the 2008 financial crisis hit the Irish banking system, Sean Quinn lost almost all of his family wealth. As if that wasn't enough, one of his businesses, Quinn Insurance, was fined a 3.25 million euro fine by Ireland's financial regulator because of insider loans issued by Quinn Insurance. Due to all the penalties, losses, fines and more, Quinn finally filed for personal bankruptcy in 2011. Number 4. Elizabeth Holmes Holmes is the founder of Theranos, which marketed blood testing equipment that did not work as promised. Elizabeth Holmes, an American inventor and entrepreneur, became the youngest self-made female billionaire in 2015 after her healthcare technology company, Theranos, reached $9 billion in valuation and made a hefty profit. She was even on Time's 100 Most Influential People of 2015. But it all came to a halt with multiple investigation into Holmes' company. Specifically, she was called out for lying and misleading potential investors about her company's new, innovative blood testing technology. Following these allegations, everything related to her took a serious nosedive. Forbes devalued her personal wealth to zero, and Fortune titled Holmes as one of the world's most disappointing leaders. She was also banned from her own company to help ensure it at least a chance of doing some good. That's saying something right there when you can't even be a part of the company you built. Number 3. Alan Stanford Stanford was once considered one of the country's wealthiest people, worth more than $2 billion. Robert Allen Stanford is a former billionaire financier who is now serving a 110-year prison term for massive financial fraud. He was the chairman of now-defunct financial services company Stanford Financial Group, a group that claimed lots of wealth, lots of clients, and a reach all over the world. In 2009, the SEC launched an investigation on Alan Stanford and his company for doing a Ponzi fraud scheme. He was finally arrested in June 2009 and his sentence was very large, as you might recall, which he totally deserved. Number 2. Björgelfer Gunmanson Björgelfer and fellow executives were charged with 450 counts of fraud and embezzlement. The banking crisis of 2007-2008 affected Iceland more than any nation in the world. All three major Icelandic banks defaulted on their loans in late 2008, which ultimately caused a major economic and political unrest in Iceland for three years. Björgelfur Gunmanson, who was the second richest person in Iceland before the crisis, gained about 45% shares of Landsbanki, one of those three largest banks in 2002. According to Forbes in March 2008, Björgelfer was ranked 1,014 on the list of richest people worldwide with a total wealth of $1.1 billion. Following the outbreak of the financial crisis in the country, Björgelfer lost his chairmanship of Landsbanki in 2008 and declared his personal bankruptcy a year later. In less than one year, his personal wealth went down from $1.1 billion to $0. His son, on the other hand, Thor Björgelsen was able to work back up from this debilitating loss and become a billionaire once more. A small good note in a list of sad and bad stories, don't you think? Number 1. Bernie Madoff The banks on Wall Street were complicit in his fraud. He said they knew what was going on. Behold Bernie Madoff, a man infamous because he did his own version of a Ponzi scheme that defrauded people of $65 billion. 
This is the largest amount defrauded by a single individual in the history of the world today, and a story about how guilt led to the arrest of a major con man. Madoff owned an investment securities business and made his success over years of hard work, until he was one of the biggest names on Wall Street. To further help him, he brought in family like his sons and renowned specialists to help make sure the company ran well. But as time went on, something didn't quite add up with what Madoff was saying that the company's numbers were. Some people even called him out on it, but no one listened. Eventually, Madoff could see that everything was collapsing and he had to confess that it was all one big lie. Millions were hurt by Madoff, and it's a painful lesson in greed. The people he did defraud did get some justice when he was sentenced to serve 150 years in prison. It's not perfect justice, but it does help. So what do you think? What do you think of these billionaires who went from top of the world to bottom of the barrel in no time flat? Were you shocked by how many ways these people lost their money? Which ones shocked you the most? Which ones did you not know about before? Let us know in the comments below, be sure to subscribe, and we'll see you next time on the channel.